Alright guys, what's going on? You're watching Fishing with Cash. I am glad to be back for the 2024 season. And just like how I started off this channel last year, I figured I would do the exact same thing and just kind of do a haul of what I've collected in the off season. So the first thing that I'd like to bring up is I'm going to have one of my bigger items here first and then I'll end with uh, the biggest thing that I upgraded this year. So first off, I got a Daiwa Legalis LT 2500D. Uh, this is going to be going on my finesse rod that I use mainly for my wacky rigs. And I, I throw some other stuff, but it's mainly wacky that I use. So the reel that I had on there, it's just, it's beat up. It's been used so much. The gears started going. I was having a hard time with the drag. It, Oh gosh, I, I've had that since I was a little kid, probably since I was like 8 or 10. Yeah, almost 20 year old reel, and I've gotten a lot of use out of it. So I mean, I made that thing last, and I just started to have problems with it. And I was like, well, a little cheap reel, so I'll go with something a little bit nicer and upgrade. So, nice Daiwa is going to be going on that. Next up, something interesting that I found. And I love top water. Obviously, it is March right now, so I'm not going to be using this for a while. But I love River of the Seas. They came out with this new opening bell lure, it's called. I haven't seen this. I hadn't heard of it. So, it'll be interesting to try this guy out. So, it's a top water. And it's obviously like a buzz bait. There we go. Finally. I have it out. So I've not opened this yet. I haven't even looked up any videos of this online, but it looks like it's like the Whopper Plopper body. It's the small one that they have now. There's also a skirt. I wonder how much of a factor that little bell is going to play. It'll be interesting to actually see it in action this summer. Another thing, and I had complained about this, and I will actually post that video for you guys to watch if you want at the end of this video so you guys can go check it out but I did a review on the new Hellraiser but I could only find the bigger one at the time so this is the smaller version and I was complaining about the size of it for the bass that I had they were hitting it but they weren't actually getting it in their mouth so I was able to find uh, the new Hellraiser in the smaller size so I'm glad I was able to find that Someone had recommended to me that um, they do make a smaller version, so I was able to go out and find one. And I like going to Fleet Farm a lot. I live here in Wisconsin. So Fleet Farm, I was just there today actually, and they have a bunch of these now in this size. So this is the 3 8 ounce. Um, I believe the bigger one or in the normal size is, called, is a 5 8 ounce. I believe it's a 5 ace. I don't think it's a 3 quarter. I think it's 5 ace. I could be wrong on that, but yeah, it just, it's a nice lure. These Hellraisers are new. They're made by Z-Man. I really like anything that Z-Man makes. It just, the bigger one was too big. That's what the problem was. No matter what I did, I, I would always get strikes on it. I caught a few fish on it, but they just had a hard time. So I'm glad that I was able to find the smaller one. All right, something that isn't as exciting, but I always enjoy these kind of things. I found this nice Gary Yamamoto uh, swim bait that I like to use as a trailer on my chatter baits a lot. And I really like this color. I like this purple. It's kind of dark, kind of see-through. I figure that if it's kind of dirty, overcast, I figure that this would be a good trailer to throw on. Next up, and this is gonna go along with the big surprise at the end for item-wise. I have a 13 fishing, I believe it's just called the 70 Cliff Banger. Cliff Banger. It's called a Cliff Banger. So, nice deep diving crankbait. Need a few more deeper diving crankbaits. I got a lot of stuff for walleye for deeper diving, and the, the bass will hit it, but I, I, I needed some more just crankbaits for bass in general. Just figured I'd get a new one. I like the color, it matches very much as to what the fish in this area look like. I was excited when I saw this. I really like the 13 fishing. 
gear that they've been coming out with because I like a lot of their reels and even their rods. Their rods are pretty good as well too. So what? Uh, that's kind of a Tennessee shad color. Hooks are sharp. So that'll be fun to use this year. Moving on and kind of goes with the Cliff Banger by 13 Fishing. I got these new jawbreakers that just came out. At least in my area, I haven't seen these before. More square bells. These guys don't go as deep. These guys are about three to five feet. So I got one of my favorite colors, Fire Tiger. Works fantastic anywhere in my area. And I got a nice black and blue. I really like that. Along with that little bit of kind of goldish bronze on the top there. Really kind of makes it stand out. I think it'll work great when it's overcast. I'm looking through another bag. I didn't realize I got one of these, but I did get the five ace ounce Z-Man Hellraiser in a white. So that'll be nice, especially for Pike. I think this is the bigger size, at least in my area, that's more so for Pike. And then the smaller one is definitely more suited for bass in my area. I got some fun news that I will also share with you guys at the end of the video, so stay tuned. I got these for that specific reason. I like to use these lures a lot, but it's mainly for the announcement I will make at the end of this video. But I got a bunch of flicker shads, one of my favorite lures, one of my favorite colors, of course, Fire Tiger. Fire Tiger, smaller. And I did a video on these guys as well too. I'll make sure to link that at the end of the video as well too for you guys to watch. Flicker minnows, so the flicker minnows are the longer ones. Flicker shads are the kind of shorter, stubbier ones. Um, I like both for different applications. Depends on where I'm fishing. I usually will pick up the shad first and then if that's not working, I will go to a minnow, especially if I'm just doing walleye fishing. It's great for that. I catch pike on it. I catch bass on them. And if you guys have watched uh, last year, and if you guys were up to date, man, I got a lot of videos that I'm calling back to. But um, I did actually catch a muskie on one of these guys. I believe it was the, was it a 7 or a 5? I forget what size it was. I want to say it was the smaller one. I think... No, I probably threw on the 7 because the 7 goes deeper and I was fishing in a really deep area. But I caught a monkey on one of those guys last year, and I was not expecting that. I was in a giant bowl on the map, so I was like, okay, well, let's just long line it. I was out with my uncle, and I caught a muskie. Was not expecting that. Got some purple with some white here. I, I just picked up colors that I thought I would use a lot, so obviously, you know, fire tiger, got some perch, got some purple. This guy has a new color that I found this off season, but I love this gold and green. Very nice. I don't know how well it's getting picked up on the camera. And then I got a variety of flicker minnows that are also a brighter color. So these brighter colors are more so for darker water, obviously, and it's also more so for walleye. Moving on, I got an interesting lure that is designed for salmon fishing. But when I looked at this thing, I was like, that looks like something that a pike would eat. So I picked up one of these guys. It's called a J-Plug. Um, I watched some videos on him before I purchased it. I was at Fleet Farm and saw this guy. And I was just like, oh, that seems kind of interesting. So I looked up how to use it. And I was like, oh, all right. I don't think it'll catch any bass. But if I'm wanting to target pike, it might work. So I figured I would pick it up just to see if it works kind of a gimmick but you know what though if a fish aren't really seeing it i like that kind of stuff the less that they see it the more likely they are to possibly bite it within a reaction because if they just keep on seeing the same spinner bait over and over and over again they're less likely to hit it especially if they've already have hit one in recent memory and fish can remember what they've eaten for like three months whenever they've been hooked. So, not a bad idea to try something new. All right, a lure that my uncle got me turned on to this, uh, actually two years ago, but because of COVID, you couldn't buy them. And they finally came back in stock. It is the head-on spitting image. So it is a surface bait, and it's uh, from the makers that make the spook. And it's very similar to a spook. It does a walk the dog action, 
but it's a little bit different and it's a little bit of a different different presentation I like it I think that it looks nice he caught a lot of fish on him when I've been out with him and he's used it it turned into his new favorite topwater lure so I figured I'd pick up a few so I got two of them see how it works this year speaking of head-on spooks one thing that I have seen plenty of times, I have never purchased one, I have never used one, but that'll all change this year. I got the um, Zara Spook. It's got the propellers, so it's the Spook, but it's got these propellers on the front and the back. I don't know how well it's picking it up, but... Just a variation of the Spook. Spook is one of my go-to lures that I've always loved using ever since a kid. Um, if I'm having a hard time catching them on anything else, I will just pick it up, especially if it's summer, June through August, even September, if it's a nice warmer day out. So, you know, I've never tried one of them, so I'm looking forward to it. Keeping with the theme of surface baits, I got a chug bug. This chug bug is in a perch color. Um, I, I really like the chug bugs a lot. I've caught my PB bass, actually, largemouth PB bass on one of these chug bugs, but it was the frog pattern. Um, I've got a few of those. I've got like three of the frog patterns. And when I got that one a few years ago, before I started making the channel, it's the bass that you actually see as the logo in my uh, YouTube name. So that is the bass that I caught on a chug bug, but the chug bug is just a nice search bait in summer. If I got open area and if I got a lot of lily pads, I'll just kind of throw it and then bring it across past the lily pads. I like throwing it on the outside of structure and just bringing it past and usually you can get something to bite it, whether it be a bass or a pike. An interesting thing that I've seen floating around uh, recently is these uh, weedless wacky rig lure jig heads. What are they called? Weedless wacky head. Just that. They look like jigs, but they're for the wacky rig. So I figured I'd grab some, see how they work. They might be a total gimmick, might, might actually work, we'll see. Got more crankbaits here. Nice bluegill color pattern going on with this guy. This guy dies seven to 10 feet. It's made by Rapala, it's the SDD5. I um, was watching some videos and a lot of guys, I guess, really like using them. Um, I'm not a big, crankbait guy I'm trying to get more into it just because I'm used to a lot of shore fishing that's one thing that I want to get a lot better at using this year is crankbaits especially deep diving crankbaits these guys are also made by Rapala and these are very highly regarded as great square bills and that is the OGR5 they go five feet got one here in a white and black I got a Black and chartreuse one as well, too. Keeping with the theme of square bills, one thing that I picked up is the Bill Lewis square bill. I got this little tiny guy for the pre-spawn. So when they're kind of hunting around for areas to start making their beds, I figured I would tie this guy on. Next up, I got some more trailers. I got these Bass Pro Shop tournament series. I just like these colors. I figured I'd use them a lot. White with a chartreuse tail. Fear I could throw them on anything really. See how well they work. I like the colors, especially if I got small mouth in the area. Be a good color selection. Keeping with the theme of trailers that I like to use. More Gary Yamamoto swim tails. I just, like I said before, I love putting them on shatter baits. And once again, just white and chartreuse, especially if I know that I got small mouth. It's just a really solid go-to color combination that I find works a lot and that a lot of other guys also find work works a lot with small mouth bodies of water. And one last Gary Yamamoto's, I almost said Sanko, these aren't the Sankos. Gary Yamamoto Sankos, not Sankos, the swim tails. One of my other favorite colors, white. I know I needed a few, so I picked up a pack. Because I am pretty much out of them. I think I got like two left. And I went through two or three packs of these last year. So they'll definitely get their use. Keeping along with the theme of trailers. And I also bought the heads for these guys as well too. Where to put them? 
Anyways, I got some KVD, uh, what are they called? Swimming Caffeine Shad. So I got those, and the hook to go along with it is the Northland Fishing Tackle Slurk Jig Head. So just throw it on, maybe get that guy a whirl this year. But we'll see. I might also use these guys as a trailer from time to time. I'll see what they look like. I'll see what they work for, best application. But I love these KVD soft plastics with the caffeine. Supposedly they work a lot better and the salt that's in them helps them sink better. I guess the scent is a little bit better according to KVD, but I mean, I, I just like his products a lot. They've never let me down. I've had very minimal problems with them. I've had a few times where some of his hooks that he's had, they haven't exactly been the greatest, but overall though, I've been very happy with the KVD stuff. I think it's some of the best out there and especially when it comes to soft plastics. I don't want to open this just because I have cats and I'm not ready to put this all away in the tackle box yet because I got to find some space first. But I got another Bill Lewis square bill. This one is black and chartreuse. Once again, for those small mouth bass bodies of water. And to round it out for lures, soft plastics, before I get into the big item of the year. Got, oh, I used one of these. Oh yeah, that's right. I had this on my boat. <laughs> right at the end of the year, but some more KVD Rage Tails caffeine with the uh, green pumpkin pattern. I like these guys a lot for also the chatter baits. And for the big item of the year, I got a KVD crankbait rod. So I'm gonna be using this with a lot of those crankbaits, the square bills, so the medium heavy, the weight is a quarter ounce to a half ounce. So that's gonna be perfect for what the size I like to throw. Um, I don't go any bigger than a half ounce ever. So this guy will be perfect for me. And I got the reel that came with it as well too to match it up, um, have really good reviews. So I figured I'd give it a shot. The real speed is a 6.2 to 1 gear ratio, so that's ideally what you want for crankbaits. Um, what I was throwing those flicker shads and flicker minnows on was a 5.2, and sometimes I realized that, especially in summer, it didn't work as well as I wanted it to, and I would have to troll a lot more just to get that speed that I needed out of them to get them to react and bite it. So. I'm really looking forward to getting this guy lined up and actually using him this year. All right, guys, and now time for the big announcement. I will be going to Canada this year in summer in early June on a fishing trip, mainly gonna be fishing for walleye. There are pike up there as well too, and smallmouth bass, but that's the big announcement for the trip this year. Um, it's been a while since I've gone up. I'm going up with my uncle and uh, one of his buddies and his son. So my uncle and I will be in his boat. His friend and his son are going to be using that boat that the cabin provides. My uncle's been up there a few times and he's really liked this place. And so he invited me along and said, hey, if you want to pay for your fair share, feel free to come on up. So I said, sure. So looking forward to that coming in June. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you guys back out on the water. Make sure to check out any of the videos that are up here in these corners. Like I mentioned before earlier. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one. I'm so excited to be back. See you later.